Hello, everybody, and welcome to another Lion's Table. Let's take a moment to enter into the presence of God by the power of the Holy Spirit. And let God's word, which is truth, fill us and give us strength. Let us contemplate his great love for us, his sacrifice on the cross, his mercy, grace, and promise of eternal life through Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the word who was at the beginning, was with God and is God. Thanks be to God that though you once were slaves to sin, you wholeheartedly obeyed the form of teaching to which you were committed. You have been set free from sin and have become slaves to righteousness. And I'm speaking in human terms because of the weakness of your flesh. Just as you used to offer the parts of your body in slavery to impurity and to escalating wickedness, so now offer them in slavery to righteousness, leading to holiness. Romans 6, verses 17 through 19. Amen and amen. Slaves to, slaves to sin. Think about it. It's really slavery to self. What else gets you into more trouble than being a slave to yourself? And I mean putting yourself first. You strive, you compete, you slave away for every applause, award, every grade or degree, every cheer, every climbing ladder friend, every business partner, every job, house, car. Sure, you would like to think you got what you deserve because you worked for it. You were the best. You made the grade. You went the distance, but you slaved away for yourself and you suffered for it, too. The suffering is in being so devoted to yourself, you forget others are involved in your life, involved in your well-being. You suffered because all that slaving away takes its toll on your mental and physical health and your spiritual walk with the Lord God. Of course, you can be good at something and get paid for it. Slaving away does not mean that you should not study. You should. It does not mean that you should not try to get a job that you like or accept a job that you can do. It does not mean that you should reject a raise if it's offered to you. Understand, it's not about what you can do for yourself, but what the Lord God wants to do for you if you let him. And by giving him yourself first, you get his attention. And then surprisingly, you do for others as well, because you are no longer slaving away, that is, devoted to yourself. Become a slave to righteousness. And you may be wondering how. God's word has every answer. Let's read from Psalm 119, verses 33 through 48. Teach me, O Lord, the way of your statutes, and I will keep them to the end. Give me understanding that I may obey your law and follow it with all my heart. Direct me in the path of your commandments, for there I find delight. Turn my heart to your testimonies and not to covet gain. Turn my eyes away from worthless things. Revive me with your word. Establish your word to your servant to produce reverence for you. Turn away the disgrace I dread, for your judgments are good. How I long for your precepts. Revive me in your righteousness. May your loving devotion come to me, O Lord, your salvation according to your promise. Then I can answer him who taunts, for I trust in your word. Never take your word of truth from my mouth. For I hope in your judgments, I will always obey your law forever and ever. And I will walk in freedom, for I have sought your precepts. I will speak of your testimonies before kings, and I will not be ashamed. I delight in your commandments because I love them. I lift up my hands to your commandments, which I love, and I meditate on your statutes. Thank you for joining us on this Lions Table. We hope this has been a blessing to you as always. Please leave prayer requests behind. We will always pray for you. Any comments or questions? And as always, we invite you to join us again next time.